confidence interval? For P1 minus P2. And it's okay to say that, P1 minus P2, as long as we now say what P1 and P2 are. Okay? So it looks like we're going to make P1, what are the two things we're dealing with here? So let's say P1 equals the proportion of teens. Proportion of teens who go online. And then P2 is the proportion of adults that go online. Okay? So we have our, we have our uh, state done pretty well. Let's do our plan. Okay, our plan. So our plan is a two sample Z interval for the difference between two proportions. Okay? Two sample Z interval for the difference in two proportions. Random, normal, and independent. Random, normal, and independent. So random, it states the two samples are random or are random. Alright, so N, I think they'd say it's like 68 and 63. So 63 of teens and 68 of adults. So we're going to say that N1 equals 0.63. N2 equals 0.68. So those are P's. P1, P2. Our N1 we already had, right? Our N1 is the number, and our N2 is the number. So let's see what those are. Um, 800 teens and 2,253 adults. 800 teens, 2,253 adults. So we got to do N1 times P1 and N1 times 1 minus P1. And then we've got to do N2 times P2 and N2 times 1 minus P2. So let's go to the calculator. It's a little tedious, but I don't complain when things are tedious. If they're easy, just be happy. Be happy there, easy. This first one's going to be 504. And then we have 800 times 0.37, and that's going to be 296. Both of those are greater than or equal to 10. We like that. And then we go 2253 times 0.68, and I get 153. 153.0, 1532. 2253 times 0.32, 720.96. Guess what? Both greater than or equal to 10. Normal condition is satisfied. You can write that too. Normal condition is satisfied. All right. 800, 2253 are both less than or equal to. 10%, 10% of all teens who go online and of all adults who go online. All right? All right, there we go. There we go. We've got our state. We've got our plan. Let's go do our do. Again. I'm going too quick. Pause the video. Pause the video. All right, the do step. So I think we said P1 minus P2. So it's going to be P1 minus P2. So the P1 was the students, right? That was 0.63 minus the adults, 0.68, plus or minus a 90% confidence interval, 1.645 times um, 0.63 times 
times 0.37 divided by 800. And then the other one we have is going to be 0.68 times 0.32 out of 2253. Let me see if the book did some calculations for me here. Did it make my life easy? Not really. Not really. Um, all right, let's do it step by step. So what's this going to be? Uh, 0.63 minus, this is going to be uh, negative 0.05 plus or minus 0.63 times 0 0.37, 0 0.2331 divided by 800. I get 0.123291. And then over here, 0.68 times 0.32, and then divide that by 2253, um, 0.1234966. Really small numbers, right? Do you know why those numbers are really small? Because our sample sizes are big. When your sample size is big, your variability goes down. That should make sense. Okay, so let's figure out what that is. Plus 0 0.000, 0 291. I get point zero 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 three eight eight, and then I got to take the square root of that. Point zero 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 three eight eight. Point zero one. Nine seven. So one point six four five times point zero one nine seven. Point zero three two. After all that, point zero three two. Negative point zero five plus or minus that. So when I do that, I should get negative point zero eight two four. Negative point zero eight two four two. Um, then we add that, right? We're going to get negative 0 0.0176. Negative 0 0.0176. There's my interval. Let's do our conclude. We are 90% confident that the interval from negative 0 0.0824 to negative 0 0.0176 captures a true mean, or let's see if I want to use that word mean. Let me see what they put. True difference, true difference, not mean. True difference in proportions of uh, teens and adults internet use. All right, here we go. Here we go. So that takes us halfway through. That takes us halfway through um, 10 1. Okay? We're going to crank it up a little bit. We're going to crank it up a little bit when we get to this. Okay, but I do not have the energy to do that right now. So, for the time. Okay, so we'll go through it. Then we have a couple examples. And that will be that. All right, so next time you hear from me, it'll be 10.1 part two.